In Pilate's judgment hall, Jesus stands tied up as a prisoner. Around him are soldiers, and the hall is quickly filling with spectators. Just outside the entrance are the Jews, led by the supreme Jewish judges known as the Sanhedrin. The Sanhedrin had just condemned Jesus, and they had come to Pilate so that he would confirm their guilty sentence, which would allow Jesus to be executed. Pilate had to get out of bed to deal with Jesus, so wanted to judge him as quickly as possible, and he knew that the Jewish leaders must have also wanted it dealt with quickly. This didn't make Pilate feel very warm towards Jesus. However, when Pilate saw him, he immediately saw that Jesus didn't look like a criminal. He'd also remembered a lot of positive things he'd heard about him and demanded to know what the Sanhedrin had charged him guilty of. The leaders were nervous. They knew that they didn't have any real evidence against him, and if they had to lie and give accusations, then honest witnesses would contradict them. They said to Pilate that Jesus is a deceiver, and that they are the most important Jewish judges, so Pilate should just accept their judgment and condemn him without checking the evidence himself. They knew that Pilate was weak, and he had previously quickly signed death warrants for men that hadn't committed a capital punishment, so there was a good chance he would do it again. Pilate wasn't usually bothered about whether a person was guilty or not. However, with Jesus, he didn't feel comfortable for some reason doing this. It was obvious to him what the priests were doing, and he remembered hearing that Jesus had raised Lazarus from the dead. He said that they would have to tell him what he was guilty of and also prove it. They knew that Pilate was scared of a revolt against the Romans. A few days before, they had tried to trick Jesus into saying that Jews shouldn't pay taxes to Caesar. However, Jesus had told them to pay taxes. Jesus had told the people that he was the king of the Jews, not Caesar. The Sanhedrin's lie to Pilate was that this was inciting a rebellion against Caesar, and that if Jesus was saying that Caesar wasn't their king, then that must also mean that he was telling people not to pay taxes to Caesar. Pilate saw that Jesus didn't look like a defiant person who would rebel against the Romans, and he saw that the priests were trying to kill an innocent man. He asked Jesus a question to let him prove his innocence. Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Thou sayest it. It may seem odd that Jesus didn't directly answer the question. Jesus' response was actually a way to allow Pilate to be saved. You see, there are two possible reasons for Pilate to ask this question. The first is to see if Jesus was guilty of saying he was a king. The second is to see if Jesus was genuinely a king. To be saved, we have to accept Jesus as king. The Holy Spirit was working in Pilate to convince him that this was true. If Pilate had admitted to Jesus that he was genuinely asking to see if Jesus was a king, then there was an opportunity for Pilate to be saved. The priests and the mob shouted that this answer proves that he had to be put to death. Pilate was, however, confused because he didn't understand why Jesus had given this response instead of defending himself. He wondered if Jesus didn't care about dying. He took Jesus aside and asked the question again to see if his answer would be different without the mob in front of him. Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus knew that the Holy Spirit was working in Pilate. And Jesus' primary purpose isn't to save his own life, but to save our lives. Pilate knew what Jesus was doing by asking this question. But unfortunately, he became too proud to admit that he did want to know if Jesus was a king. Pilate had lost his golden opportunity to be saved. But Jesus didn't give up on him and he gave him another chance and told Pilate why he was on earth and that his kingdom is spiritual, not a kingdom of money or land. My kingdom is not of this world, he said. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Art thou a king then? asked Pilate. 
Jesus explained that he was here to teach people the truth and that only by first accepting this truth can people be saved. Pilate wanted to know the truth, but he was confused and asked him, What is truth? However, the noise from outside distracted him, and instead of waiting for the answer, he went outside and said, I find in him no fault at all.